I am done with my commission. I am done with my commission. While I love doing commissions, I love when I finish. I feel like I I get my whole day back. And um, I wanted to put this video out to talk to you about my thoughts about the commission and um, some things that help me make it easier process and I love painting commissions is it's um, they're, they're a different animal those that have done them understand and the second reason for this introduction is to say hi daddy you watch every one of my videos and you call to tell me if my eyeliner's crooked if uh, my lipstick's not straight and um, but you watch everyone and you support me so I wanted to say I love you and thank you for being a part of my life, Daddy, and for being one of my greatest supporters and just always being there for me and helping me get my hours up. I remember you would watch my videos over and over again to help me qualify um, when I first started my channel. But I wanted to say this and you don't know it's coming but when the video comes out every week I know that you get your your lollipop and your glass of water and you sit down in that big white chair of yours and you watch me so without getting emotional I wanted to say thank you and this introductions for you but without further ado let's get into the video and um, I just wanted to say hi daddy and I love you Hello, my name is Cheryl Wilson and I am going to talk to you today about a commission. And I've done a video in the past, but since I just finished a commission, there's a lot of things fresh in my mind. So I thought I'd share with you and I'll do the, I'll do a, this to be a picture this way or that way or whatever of the actual commission that I finished and the, um, the steps I go through to do a commission are um, pretty much the same for everybody. And I've worked on the steps and fine tuned them. So I wanted to share with you some of the things that work for me that maybe you can do in your commissions if you, um, if you want to adopt some of them. The first thing I do is I qualify the people who are asking for a painting. I have a certain style of abstract that I do and my abstracts are unique to me and I have had people come to me and ask me wow you know I like your art would you paint my uh, pet chihuahua <laughs> um, or whatever dog or um, you know XYZ and I have to tell them, well, no, that's not the style of art I do. So the first thing I do is qualify that the type of art they're looking for is the type of art I do. I never thought I'd have to do that, but I have. And it's well-meaning people that want to support me as an artist and um, to get the best work that they want out of their piece of art it's got to be something so I send them to my website and I say pick out three to five um, paintings or they come to my studio if they're local that you are attracted to what what type of art are you looking for that's the first thing I do and if they come back with um, the style of art that um, is out on my website then I know that it's it's a commission that's going to be fun to to do and I'll be able to work with the people if they come back and say um, well I'm looking for something a little bit different then I won't do the commission I my bottom line is I want people to love the piece of art they have they, they get from me and if it's not something I do I can't force myself to do it so Normally, they've already looked at my art, they like my style, and that's what they come to me for. I've had some outliners that have come along that 
that they've had well-meaning people that want to support me that um, I've sent them to another artist. Uh, I've had people ask me to do um, caricatures for books, illustrations, and I do have um, people who, uh, my, my daughter-in-law who does that. So um, I started, so what I did was I did a, what I call a um, commission questionnaire. And I actually have this as a link below to my PayHip account, which I have this for just a couple dollars. And it's a questionnaire that after we've already talked about what kind of art they want, I know that they want a piece of art of the style I do. Um, we start in on the questionnaire and I'll either fill it out in person with them or I'll send this to them and we talk about it on a Zoom call. But it's things like, um, you know, what are they looking for? Are they looking for a piece of canvas art? And again, it's to qualify. Um, you know, they're looking for a piece of resin. Are they looking for a sculpture um, on the canvas? Um, what is the budget? I talk about my fees. That's a big one. Right up front, get that over with. Talk to them about it so that it's clear. Um, they know what to expect. You know what to expect. If you keep that open-ended, um, it gets it gets harder to discuss it down the road. Uh, talk about uh, shipping fee. Um, I have small cars, so <laughs> the last two commissions I've done have been huge paintings. I don't have a big car, so I have um, stipulated to them right up front that they will be picking up the artwork themselves and they will be transporting it. Um, and while I don't want to get too much on that end of it, um, I do a little video of the canvas before it leaves and then I do have a sheet that I have them sign saying they've picked it up, it's in good shape, etc., etc. But on the questionnaire, um, I go down through, and I even ask them questions like, have you worked with um, an artist before on commission work? Because um, a lot of times it's very um, uh, hard if they've never worked with an artist before in a commission to, you have to, there's steps you have to go through to help them understand some of the things to expect. Um, other things are, um, you know, we talk about a down payment, um, how many times if they're local um, or if they're, they're online, how many times are you going to allow them to look at your unfinished work to change it? And, um, and how I look at it is this. It's not that when they come in and look at your art, that it's like they you feel really bad because they're asking you to change it what happens when somebody looks at a painting it it's like it sparks interest in their their mind and they start to think of a, of, of things and that's what i want so one time a commission i did um the lady had come over and she saw the artwork and um, it what I knew it wasn't finished. I wanted to know what um, texture she wanted texture. She wasn't an artist. She didn't know anything about um, what to do. She had never worked a commission before. So she saw in my studio some artwork that had the the gold filigree rubbed on, and she really liked that. So we talked about okay, let's let's add that. That was an initial um, discussion when we first started, but because she saw the artwork and her mind just started uh, thinking about, wow, I like where this is going, and just working with her, showing her some other artwork of ideas of texture, it just opened up possibilities and we were able to go on. So I allow them to look at it twice. And then after that, um, it, the price would have to go up if I have to completely rework the canvas because we've already set the groundwork of pieces they want, ideas they want, colors, etc. Um, if they're really struggling and you have to start over, um, then you haven't really 
pre-qualified them or you haven't set the groundwork for what it is that they really want. That's why this um, questionnaire is so important um, to go over because there's questions on here that will help guide them so that you know where you're going. You're going to ask them questions like, where is this going to go? Um, a lot of times they'll need help with the size. Uh, they may not understand the size of their area. I've had uh, I've had them send me pictures of the room before, or if it's local, I've visited. Um, one time, somebody asked me for uh, a frame or a size of a piece of art that just wasn't, there was no standard canvas for that size. So I told them, I said, to, to have a, um, it made for that size, and the canvas stretched over that, that's going to be a lot more money. My suggestion was to use two canvases that were already pre-sized uh, and put them right next to each other and do a diptych. And then she actually wanted three paintings, so two were right next to each other and one was separate. That was a perfect idea. Um, so knowing the size of what they're looking for and then you helping them um, know the size of what canvases are out there will help in the long run of that final price because sometimes well, a lot of people who aren't artists don't even know the sizes that are available of canvases if you need to make one and you know you definitely you might have to have someone help you make it or you make your own but that would include lumber and that's a whole new new area so knowing where it's going to go, if it's in a children's room or if it's a living room or entryway, bathrooms, I've done work for bathrooms and then you've got to know that because um, I actually double up on the varnish for a bathroom. Um, then you get down to, you know, are they going to frame it? Um, um, two really large canvases. She told me she was going to have someone build frames for them which was fine so they were going to go off of the finished piece of work and then they were going to build the frames which was which was a discussion we had so we talk about what the edges are going to look like uh, the colors um, any type of finishes down to I just this last weekend uh, varnished the it's a 60 by 40 inch or 65 by 40 um, canvas and I varnished it in a, a mat. Now the last uh, piece I did, the one I'm showing you, it was uh, for an artist that commissioned me to do this and uh, they built the canvas because they had a specific size. So he does woodworking, he built the canvas, stretched it and everything and brought it to me. So that um, you know, you incorporate that into the price. I didn't have to go buy a canvas um, in that particular instant. So um, there's just a lot more on this piece of paper, but qualifying up ahead of time is really critical to um, understanding what the client wants, saves a lot of frustration um, for them to, um, to work with them and to, uh, set expectations up front of what you're willing to do, what they want, and especially if they've never worked with an artist before, they don't know. You have to basically tell them uh, the, some of the things that you want them to know and uh, that you're able to work with them. Then when I am done, and I have this out there in my pay up, I do a certificate of authenticity and uh, that's important. I put on there the title, the year it was painted, um, the size, what is in there, what type of varnish, um, if I do graphite, if I do oil sticks, what I have in it. Um, and then I do a value. The reason why the value is important is because this piece of art is going to be passed down um, to other people. I've actually had um, a client come to me with a painting I painted for them and there was a leak. Um, they were in a, a condo situation and there was a, someone above them and the water leaked down and it leaked onto the painting. 
and because I had done a letter of authenticity, they sent it to the insurance company. The insurance company gave them a certain amount of money to give me to um, go in and fix the piece. I had varnished it really well, so the water didn't do a lot of damage, but um, I was able to touch up some areas that um, I felt needed to be touched up, and so they were able to get money because they had a letter of authenticity that I had given them. Then when I am done, which is really also as equally as important as the beginning, is I do a client name and receipt of commission. Um, this is especially important because you've already gone over these things with them ahead of time. Um, for instance, how is it going to get to them? I have a painting that is uh, quite large and it's going to be mailed. Um, so I've already talked with the person and told them that I'm going to be taking it off the frame and to do some research on people on the other end that can restretch the canvas and it's going to be rolled up and they're actually when it's done um, and they're ready they're going to come to my house and pick it up and and I'm going to have it rolled I already have the the, the cardboard roller and they're going to take it on the plane with them so we've already discussed that so that saves probably about five hundred dollars in cost the size of this painting because it would probably have to be created um, so things like that that um, you know you have that ahead of time um, and then when you fill out the um, the paperwork it you put it the date of pickup but it's especially important if they're picking it up when it leaves your hands and it goes into their hands you're no longer um, responsible for it unless it's mailed then you've got to deal with insurance but once it's in their hands um, you want to be able to have done a video of it, have them say that they picked it up, especially, um, you know, if they're picking it up in a truck or, you know, however they're transporting it, that you know that it left your premises in good shape. There was no cracks in the frame and they got it in, in good shape. So those are the things that actually customers, clients, prefer this openness there's no ambiguity along the way there's no question as to you know the cost and what's involved and how many times they can see it and and um how many times that they may be able to make some comments of change um on the painting and expectations for me to know i'm allowing them to look at it twice to make changes and um knowing that right up front we have an idea i had one client send me pictures of the rest of their area so i knew the colors of the dining room chairs i knew the colors of um you know other styles of paintings um the last painting i did was going to be in an area where it was abstract but I've done paintings before where they've had nothing but traditional paintings in their house. They wanted an abstract from me. And so I've created an abstract with the colors that picked up the traditional that it, it blended very well. So there's a lot that goes into up front and that understanding back and forth that is really, really important. So I hope this has been helpful to you. If you have any questions about commissions, um, I will tweak my forms as I go. Um, right now, I haven't had to in a while because they're pretty um, detailed as far as is what I ask for um, and what I go over. And uh, I try to keep really good communication. I don't send pictures on every step because my layered process is um very um i do a lot of layers so three or four layers in is not what the painting is going to look like and if i were to send um a picture of every single layer i would confuse the client it's best to have uh, like separate air times when you show the paintings um that are not going to confuse um 
one painting I did, um, one of the layers was all pink because I wanted some of the pink to show through the final painting. That's nowhere near what the final painting looks like. Um, but uh, if they had seen it at that stage, they would have wondered, did I even listen to what they were wanted? <laughs> so um, there's a method to your your madness when you're going through this. And it's um, my druthers are for someone to come in and buy a painting of mine. It's already done. It's my passion. It's what I've worked on. I know when it's done. But there are people who have a specific desire to have a painting from me as an artist which I absolutely love um, but they have a specific area a specific uh, color they have reasons um, yes I've done commissions where there's been a husband and wife and they've both wanted something different then you have to really talk to them and understand who is going to get the most say so. Can it be done? Yes, um, it can be done. But you can't please both of them. One of them has to be the major um, direction of the painting or you'll never get the painting done and you'll be frustrated. So there's a lot of things that go up front and I do hope that you um, do a lot of the upfront uh, work which will make your life easier as you're painting and when you're done. So I hope this has been helpful. Ask me any questions. Give me a thumbs up. Um, if you um, like the paint, like this discussion, if it's been helpful, if you do commissions, do a thumbs up. Let me know. I'd love to know how many of you out there do them. Um, and then I do have a button on there now where if um, you want to show me some love for the paints. Paints are expensive. I bought a bottle of paint that was normally $43. And when I went to rebuy, it was $76. That's how the price of things are lately. So there's a button there if you want to contribute to my channel. Um, I wouldn't say no. I would be very happy. But there, that's a way um, that if, if you want to help out with paints and canvases and things like that, um, I would be so grateful. But anyway, I'm signing off for now. I hope this has been helpful and have, have a great day.